challenge ever. Adding four lots of three digits. Oh, what? Four lots of three digits. Wow. Maths is all about what we do every day, every minute. It's all about looking at your watch, it's about going down to the shop. If it isn't in a context, then it hasn't got any appropriateness for real life. The focus for the new primary framework for mathematics changes. Using and applying has a higher profile to help children make links between the everyday and maths in the classroom. So how much is that together? 1.15. So Haseem's next maths lesson will involve vegetables too problem solving on how much space there will be in the school allotment. Christchurch is a one-form entry Church of England primary school with 90% English as an additional language. Its challenging circumstances hadn't been served well by the former numeracy strategy. Over the last four years, our standards in maths has been on a downward spiral. When we looked into the analysis, the result was that new teachers were actually becoming de-skilled by relying very heavily on schemes and following that through. So they weren't then using knowledge and understanding of the mathematics curriculum to be able to unpick the learning for the children. Maths at the top end of Key Stage 2 is set by ability. Anna Bolson is going to concentrate on addition through measuring perimeter with the children who need a little extra support. Size to the seat. Right, yesterday, what were we doing? Perimeter. Good, say it again. Perimeter. Perimeter. Miss yesterday talked about a special word about four sided shapes. Can you remember what that word was? Ramsey? Questoradra. Say it again. Questoradra. Good boy. Quad. Real. Atteral. Speaking and listening is massive. Technical vocabulary in maths, they need to understand exactly what it means. It's, it, there's, no, there's no option. Um, they have to repeat, they articulate to each other to get across the understanding. It takes up a lot of the learning, but the articulation and the understanding has to be there in order for them to progress. One, two, three. Four. Four. Maths coordinator Amy Dutton is posing a problem requiring multiplication to calculate area with the more secure mathematicians. OK, who can tell me what it is we're going to do today? What are we going to do? Mariam. I can calculate the area. In your pairs, can you just talk? What will we need to do? What's our wealth going to be today? To calculate area, what do we need to remember to do? On your boards, please. Speaking and listening and talk partners is a huge part of the new framework. When those children start using the language, they start to understand the language, and then they're using it in every day. We hear them in the playground now talking about the mathematical language. It's getting into their heads, and also it helps them explain and discuss and figure problems out with a support partner rather than always trying to do it on their own. And rather than planning the lesson from the new electronic framework document alone, Anna and Amy decided to work together. So if you say metres and centimetres, would you throw in the decimal? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> We're working really hard to actually try and make learning fun. And part of that is actually looking at opportunities to do maths in a more practical way, to actually make it real rather than something that happens in a book or it's a scheme that you work through. The children have got to enjoy it to have that motivation to move forward. The new framework is great. Really, when you take time and look at it, very little has changed. Um, it's just a different structure. And I think there was initial panic, but actually, if you take a deep breath, very little has changed, just a different format. Are you going to have them all measure in mm. one, or will they measure? No, oh, that's what we need to split up, I think. Yeah. What's that, Hassan? A metre stick. A metre stick. How long is that? 100 centimetres. 100 centimetres in how many metres? One. One. So we're going to go outside, and where yesterday we measured the perimeter of small shapes using centimetres, today we're going to go and have a go using measuring... Metres. Yeah, measuring in metres, we're going to measure bigger shapes. You're going to work in pairs. You're going to measure the size of the allotment bed, and we're going to get perimeter of bigger shapes. Your task is going to be to calculate how much of the allotment we use for planting 
and how much of the allotment is wasted for those walkways we have around it. How could you solve this problem? What are you going to do? What is your strategy? The allotments soon to be a blaze of vegetables. Each class has a bed and the produce will be sold to parents. Which is why the challenge to find out how much space was wasted by having the paths had a lot of relevance to the children in the upper set. So we can measure that and see how much we like using. Here is a plant over there. Yeah, and loads of carrots and all the other ones. Someone has to do this. Someone has to do this. Can I do this? And then we can take the area of the plant away from the whole um, um, area of the whole allotment. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, we're going to measure the whole the whole allotment, and then we're going to measure the squares, and then we'll add the, how much beds there are all together, and then we take away from the total of the whole allotment. Pick a bed. Mrs. Kirby's there. I'm here. Let's be accurate and work together. I want to hear you talking. I want to hear you talking about your measurements. Mm -hmm in centimetres, OK? OK. Let's go, then. He said, that this side is the same as this side. Why did he say that? Because it's cement. No, but why? Because it's a rectangle. So you think it's a rectangle or a quadrilateral? OK, so put your second measurement down, then. Normally, we just do measure small things, and it's I feel like bigger things so that we can learn. One hundred and fifty-nine. One hundred. Okay, let's try another one. In home, I speak Arabic. In here, I speak English. It's too hard to speak English. Some words in English are too hard for me, like quadrilateral. The children were working brilliantly together. They were supporting, they were advising, they'd split up the jobs. Um, they were swapping the roles around, and that was great to see. The measurement, it was good to see that was accurate, because this is the second time they've used metres this term. And beginning, what I wanted to show was, could they remember what a centimetre looked like, what a metre looked like? And yes, they could. Um, and they, they understood how to use the equipment effectively and accurately. It's okay, that's 100. The social and emotional aspects of learning project is really embedded into everything we do cross-curricular. One boy said, yeah, I'm really great at this. And, that, and yeah, he is really great at it, and it's good that he can articulate that and, you know, be proud of his achievement. That's it. So we're in the allotment, so you know what you're doing, you've got your plans, off you go. Okay. Sometimes my dad does DIY and if they're easy jobs, sometimes he lets me uh, do uh, stuff with him. I'd say if he's doing carpet fitting and um, you need to measure how long the floor is. 10 times 8, that is um, 80, so then times by 5, times that by 5, and 8, 8 at 40. 120 then. 120. 120. I think it's really good outside because inside it gets a bit stuffy and it gets really hot. So fresh air as well as working hard. I don't really like big numbers. It just muddles up my brain. But I do like small numbers. But sometimes if I'm using a calculator, it's OK for me. Wow. The allotment measurements, even though they may not be convenient numbers, are the basis for the calculating lesson. Far more meaningful than numbers taken from a textbook. This is our biggest challenge ever. Adding four lots of three digits. Oh, what? Four lots of three digits. We're partitioning, aren't we? So what do we have to partition with this calculation? You add all the tens at the beginning of the number and then you just do a circle around them and you add them together. They'd got the numbers and started to partition and got some success, but then they, they were honest. Yeah, this is really difficult. The, the numbers are huge. It's hard. We don't know. We're stuck. Carlson? It's hard. Why is it hard? Because the numbers are big. The numbers are big. What, what are you used to working with? Small numbers. Such as? 
Only up to 100. Up to 100. Okay, so this is stretching because it's challenging you. So choose that hard one or easy one. So then take away is a total of eight, two, four, five, six, seven. Come here. Okay, now we have to um, should we make up the rest of the lot? Yeah, because it's five more, just four five up. The new framework, with it allowing you to go outside and bring the real world in, it definitely has posed a lot of problems for our school and I'm sure others with teacher knowledge. Um, teacher knowledge in maths definitely has to be 100% secure to follow through with this framework. Knowledge of your children needs to be, the trust level between children and teacher needs to be built up. 5.5 Nine four, I'm confused because they're saying this is 100937.5 when I got 101,937.5. Should we check with the calculator? You check it with the calculator. Some of the children found it tricky because they were putting num recording numbers all around their page and then they were forgetting which number was which. And it does cause problems, but eventually with a lot of thought and when we come back into class and pull it together they normally figure out what their thinking was and follow a trail back. For the plenary, the maths groups recombine to share their findings. It's proving to be a valuable opportunity for quality speaking and listening for both sets as promoted by the new framework. We have done perimeter, perimeter, perimeter. After we've done all the sides like this, this side, this side, we have to add it all up and then write it down. Do you find it hard? The questions that they were asking, um, the answers they were getting, it, it was brilliant. And you can see the amount of enthusiasm they've got, um, the love to sort of articulate what they've done and the need to, that for them to have someone to listen to them, you know, and the, the fact that someone was there to do that. That's massive for them. Whenever you're doing it, you should always put centimetres squared on them. I think the challenge for, for other schools and the challenge for all schools now is actually based on the progress made. So whereas we are working towards actually hitting floor targets, the challenge for other schools would actually be ensuring that if those children have hit the floor targets at Key Stage 1, are they building on them? And the new framework, as you saw today, with those open-ended questions without a possibility to explore, is actually enabling children and teachers to actually stretch and make the Level 5s more fun, more real and more applied. The new framework is 100% a good way forward. It's bringing everything that a lot of teachers have thought for a while to the surface and the children in my class absolutely live maths now, whereas last year I'm, I'm not sure that was the picture.